up guys it is Mercules here I know I haven't done a comment in just a little bit but it was because I was in the last week of my pilot's license training and I was really really working hard trying to study trying to do the best that I could and so I figured I'd throw this up there I wanted to do some Halo gameplay but the only Halo game that I had was like a 50 man game and it was pretty competitive actually and so I figured I just wanted to do a short commentary it's a Friday night it's the beginning of my spring break and I actually can honestly say that I look forward to spring break more as a teacher than I did as a student but yeah, so this is some Black Ops gameplay. It is Team Deathmatch, as it always is with Call of Duty, because that is all I play. Um, don't really remember what I do. I'm pretty sure that I die once. I think I go like 20-something in one, maybe. But it's using the M8, and overall I think it's a pretty good gameplay. The M8 was definitely my favorite gun in Black Ops. Um, what do I want to talk about? Well, I guess, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about the fact that I got my pods license. So like I said, that was the reason why I haven't been putting out gameplay for y'all in the last like week. It was because I was literally spending every single moment that I wasn't at work, and even some of the time I was at work, studying for my pods license. And on Tuesday, I had to take my final oral exam, where I sit down for like two hours, and uh, an administrator from the FAA talks to me and sees how knowledgeable I actually am about flying and like aviation laws and things like that. And I passed that, and then after I took the oral exam, I had to take a practical check ride where I go up in an airplane, and I spend about an hour and a half flying the airplane with this FAA administrator in the back, and he has to make sure that I can understand how to react in emergencies, like what I need to do, that I can do everything that would make me a competent pilot. And I'm very happy to say that I did pass, so I'm now officially a private pilot, and it means I can fly my own planes and stuff like that, so that's very, very good, and it's a huge weight off my chest now that I don't have to be studying and flying all the time and all that stuff so that's the first thing I want to talk about the second thing I want to talk about is actually the fact that I now have a twitch channel and my twitch.tv channel is mercules904 the exact same thing as my gamertag and the reason I'm doing this is because I still don't have a capture card that I can capture HDMI stuff with so in the meantime until I get one I'm just going to be streaming Call of Duty Ghost and Titanfall pretty much every time I play those games and um, it's going to be now, I can't give you a definitive schedule for when I'll be streaming, so just check whenever I'm online pretty much and see if I am. If any of y'all have Xbox One, it will tell you when I'm streaming. But basically the way I decide I'm going to do is I'm just going to stream every single time I play. Whoever wants to watch can watch. Don't know if I'm going to turn the connect on simply because I'm not really sure how comfortable I am with y'all being able to hear me and see me uh, when I play. But I will definitely be streaming my gameplay at the very least. And like I said, it's going to be Titanfall and Call of Duty Ghost. And then hopefully I'll be able to get a, um, an HDMI capture card soon. And I'll be able to start putting some more stuff on, like actual commentaries and things like that. And I definitely will have that before Destiny comes out, I can guarantee you. But that's, that's a ways in the future anyway, so we don't really have to worry about that. Second thing I want to talk to you about is um, the fact that now that my students know that I have a channel and there's a relatively large number of them subscribed to my channel, uh, I am just not going to be able to... Uh, it it kind of sucks to explain this way, but I'm not going to be able to be as free on my channel as I was before uh, I was a teacher. Before I was a teacher, I could pretty much say whatever I wanted to on the channel and didn't matter. Not that I did, for the most part, I kept it very, very clean. And, you know, if I did use anything bad, it was generally a very mild curse word, or I would be quoting someone else or explaining something like that, but I generally kept it very, very clean. But now I'm almost... I'm almost wary because I know that all my kids know I have a YouTube channel. And I know that they're strange and creepy, so they look at it. And that would be fine for me if it wasn't for the fact that I have already... And like the two weeks that they've known that I had a channel, had a very bad experience with one. One of the kids actually found a five or six year old comment that I made on a video where I used a bunch of curse words and it was, you know, it was just a general internet fight. It was back from when I was in high school. And he screenshotted it and sent it around the school and then another kid decided that he wanted to try to blackmail me. He wanted to make me meet his demands and if I didn't meet his demands, he was going to tell the principal that I was a racist and all this stuff. And obviously it, it amounted to nothing because as soon as he said that, I was just like, wow, this is ridiculous. And I just went and told the principal, I was like, look, here's the deal. And she didn't mind because obviously it was when I was in high school. Things change. I'm a much more mature person than I was, you know, six years ago. I'm not going to go get in a random internet fight with someone like I did back then, but I just want to give y'all a warning because this definitely came back and bit me in the butt. Uh, watch what y'all put on the internet, especially now where everyone has a Facebook, everyone has a Twitter, everyone has an Instagram. Definitely watch what you guys put on the internet because I didn't even remember that I did this. It was just some, it was literally just some random comment. It was something meaningless from years and years and years ago. And somehow the kids went back and on the internet, everything is saved and they found it and, you know, it, it ended up in what could have been a really, really bad situation for me. 
Um, so, I just gotta tell you guys, definitely be careful with what you're saying. Like, think twice before you say things that your parents might not want you to hear, that, you know, your employer might not want you to hear. Just a warning from me, because, you know, that was not a pleasant situation for me to have, and like I said, now I'm even wary about doing any YouTube videos at all, because I know they're going to be watching them, and I don't want to do something where I can get in trouble, but I hope you guys like this commentary. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more, and check out my Twitch stream.